So we're very excited to announce that our blog, The Monkey Cage, is going to be moving to The Washington Post. The format of the blog should stay fairly similar to what we've been doing. The goal of the blog is to take political science research and make it more wildly accessible to a much larger audience, and to make it accessible to people who are interested in politics but who are not necessarily academics. So it's an incredible opportunity to reach an audience like The, the, the Post has, but at the same time to be continuing to be able to do what we've been doing for these past years. Although it's always been synonymous as part of the national newspaper for politics. The Post, as we know with the sale to Jeff Bezos, is going through sort of an evolution like lots of newspapers and trying to figure out what they are going to be in the, in the digital age. You know, how are they going to survive? And one of the things it seems that The Post is trying to do is put together a very strong roster of, in addition to the political news coverage that The Post has always had, of blogs that write about politics to become a destination for people who are interested in politics and to offer a variety of products. To me, the digital age has meant a demand for more content on the part of newspapers. At the same time that it's been hard to sell traditional news in paper format and classified ads have fled, with the opening up of, of websites that are just providing news or websites for already existing media, there's much more opportunity for academics who want to write about their research in a mainstream audience. And for academics to be able to have their research speak quickly to day-to-day -day events in this particular format I think is quite new. In the past, I think we've seen ourselves up until this point as being a resource for other journalists to draw upon. And our biggest influence have been when other people cite us and send people along to our site. Um, in, the, in the position of the Post, our hope is that we can attract more, more of a following ourselves directly for people who have you know, who are interested in this. My hope is that there's a demand for this kind of higher, higher level understanding of processes that are beyond the immediate moment, of the general forces that are at work, and also a hunger to sort of understand why things happen the way they do in politics, and that that will lead to a growing audience, and that these two things can be synergistic. I think another long-term goal that I'm interested in is I would love to see the sort of lag time between when, um, between when academics do research and when that research re reaches the mass public, be able to decrease, especially for political scientists. And I think new technologies like blogs are sort of paving, paving the way for this.